Hi, I'm Kim Phillips. I'm the assistant map editor at Backpacker Magazine. And uh, one of the questions I get from contributors is, how do I map a great trail? And I'm here today at the Macy's Trail to show you how to collect waypoints, to make a track, and to take great photos. At the end of the day, we'll have a great interactive trip that you can share with your family and friends on our website. In order to map a trail, you're gonna need a few different tools. The first is a GPS unit. Our site supports a lot of different kinds of GPS units and GPS-enabled phones, so you have your choice. You can use a BlackBerry, a GPS unit, Motorola phones, whatever you like. If you don't know how to use these units, just go to our website and download a quick sheet. The second thing you're going to need is a camera. Point-and-shoot cameras are fine, SLRs are fine, whatever you're comfortable with. The last thing is a pad of paper and a pencil so you can take notes along the way. I'm at the trailhead, I have all the tools that I need. The next step is to turn on my phone or my GPS unit. Once your unit's on, you want to stand there for a few seconds and let the unit get satellite reception. Once you have satellite reception, turn on your track log. By turning on the track log, it allows the unit to record a breadcrumb trail of your route. All right, my track log is turned on, I'm ready to start my hike. The trail crosses a creek at this point, so I'm going to mark a waypoint. Waypoints are used to mark important locations along the trail. So we would want to mark creek crossings, campsites, viewpoints, anything that would be important for hikers to know. It's also important to write down details about the waypoints in a notebook. You could also take a picture or use a voice recorder, whatever works best for you. Notes are sometimes helpful because you can write details about the waypoint, like what kind of forest it is or how big the creek is. Uh, stuff like that. This old homestead makes a great waypoint. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to take a photo too. Taking pictures is really important when you're mapping trails, so I'm going to try to take as many pictures as I can along the way. And this is a really good vantage point of Devil's Thumb, that rock formation just behind me. So I'm going to mark a waypoint, and I'm going to take a photo of it as well. The trail is about ready to head into Shadow Canyon, so I'm going to mark this as a waypoint and add it to my notes. And it's really important to mark all of the trail junctions that you come to so that other hikers using your map will know which way to go. I just noticed this cactus, so I stopped here to mark the waypoint and to write down in my notes that there are cactus along the trail. I've just reached the mouth of Shadow Canyon, which is marked by the towering rock formation behind me called the Matron. I'm going to mark that as a waypoint, take some photos, and then turn around and go back. Now you know how to map a trail. Remember, start a track log, mark waypoints, and take a lot of photos along the way. If you have a favorite trip that you want to share with the rest of the world, map it, then go to backpacker.com slash post a trip. Who knows, we may even feature it in a future issue of Backpacker Magazine.